And now, suspense. Not good enough, Major. Andre will beat that. Well, Andre? I'll wager he hits it on center. Who will take the bet? <laughs> no one? No one bets against Andre. <laughs> oh. I told you, Andre, Andre, you're the only one who can beat them because I'm sure you'll be one. That was a good shot. Oh, yeah. Your lieutenant faces the target bravely. So? Madeleine. Do I frighten you? No. Has my father spoken to you yet? I'm to see him now. He's asked me to wait for him here. I'm sorry, Raoul. We made a mistake. You must forgive me. You did not consider our engagement a mistake before, before he came, did you? You mustn't be angry with him or with me. I tried to make myself love you. My, my father respects you. I wanted to please you. Madeleine. Don't make me feel more ashamed than I am. And I, what do you think I feel? Madeleine. Madeleine, wait. Wait, there's still time. Perhaps you may... Father. Mission, Colonel, I should prefer to stand. You know why I sent for you? Yes, Colonel. It's not easy for a man to apologize for his own daughter. I had hoped that you would be my son-in-law, Raoul, you know that. Yes, Colonel. When she told me a week ago that it was all a mistake, that she could not go through with the marriage, my first impulse was to become angry. But marriage is not a military operation. You can't just issue an order and expect to be obeyed, can you? No, Colonel. Raoul, we must not blame her too much. She's a woman. She doesn't know her own mind, her own heart. I'm afraid you're wrong there, Colonel. Perhaps Madeline hasn't told you. Told me? Told me what? It seems your daughter has a weakness for lieutenants, Colonel. She has decided to transfer her affection to Lieutenant Dupont. Lieutenant, stop! Forgive me if I offend you, sir. Ask her yourself. She won't deny it. I don't believe you. I understand that under the circumstances, you... you might be bitter. But if by any absurd chance what you say is true, I shall know how to deal with that. In any case, I am sending her back to Paris. This week. I should never have indulged my selfishness by 
bringing her here from Paris to stay with me at Mont Louis. Is there anything more you wish to say to me, Tenor? Raoul, I know you're a proud man. I know how deeply you must be hurt. If you would prefer to be transferred to another regiment of oh. the Emperor's Guards. Oh, no, no, no. I should prefer to remain here, thank you. Besides, your daughter has changed her mind once. Perhaps she may change her mind again. We must announce the fact that the engagement is broken. Yes, of course. As and when you wish. The staff will be at my quarters tonight. I shall be as tactful as possible. Thank you, Colonel. Am I dismissed? Dismissed. Oh, Stan. Sir? Soldiers have been known to do many foolish things for the sake of a woman. Do not seek a quarrel with Lieutenant Duport. You're forgetting your announcement, Colonel. An announcement? Later. Spain? No, it's your lead major. Andre, I've been forbidden to speak to you. Your father? He's sending me back to Paris. When, my man? When? Day after tomorrow. He's angry, Andre, very angry. Let me speak with him. Let me tell him. How much I love you. Raoul is watching. He's been drinking all day. Andre, father's going to make the announcement about the engagement tonight. I'm frightened. Of your father? Oh, no, no, of Raoul. Don't say, Andre. I know something will happen. Don't say. You mustn't be frightened, my darling. But that. But then. Play something for us. Something gay. Yes. Yes, of course, Father. you join us at uh, card, Lieutenant? Thank you. Here, you can play my hand. Pick up where I left off. Go on playing. I'll watch. Well, Madeleine, let's have some music. Your lead staff. Queen, I'll take a chance on the lady. I'll trump her. The lady loses. You don't like games of chance, do you, Lieutenant? Like the Emperor, I prefer to leave as little to chance as possible. I want you a man who cheated at cards for the same reason. He left nothing to chance. And he put it he preferred to rely on skill. Comparison is not very appropriate, Stan. I'm sure Lieutenant Dupont will forgive me. I'm 
meant no insult. One does not lightly insult Lieutenant Dupont. I hope not. No, no. I watched you at target practice this morning. Sam, Sam, you've had enough. Not at all, Colonel. Cognac makes the tongue free, the mind clear. I uh, think your pistol shooting is excellent. We are married all. Thank you, Major. I have heard of your accomplishments with human targets, too. I fought two duels, but I assure you, neither of them were of my choosing. You see? He is not only skillful, but brave. I drink to your courage, Lieutenant. I had rather you didn't. It seems to me the Colonel was right. You've had quite enough to drink. Gentlemen, let's save our quarrels for the Spaniards. I see I am being misunderstood. I seek no quarrel, gentlemen. I think we are merely talking. Of skill, of chance, of courage. Eh? With your permission, Colonel, I should prefer to make my point. You see, gentlemen, I cannot understand the difference between a man who uses superior skill to cheat a man of his money at cards and a man who uses superior skill to cheat a man of his life in a duel. Raoul, I've heard enough. Lieutenant, your target practice is the practice of an assassin. You wish to add one more murder to your crimes? Major, I beg you to settle this affair. We can settle it now. I choose pistols. You fool. We could find some uh, more appropriate place to discuss the... Uh, on the condition. contrary, on the contrary, Major. This is an appropriate place. The guilty, I mean the insulted party, has the right to choose anything he wishes. I choose pistols. But only one will be loaded. I agree. How many paces? No paces. The pistol shall be aimed and fired three inches from the heart. No, I won't allow it. That's not dueling, that's cold-blooded murder. Colonel, in affairs of personal honor, the code requires that the challenged party be satisfied. I insist upon my right. Andre, you need not accept. I accept. The time, name it. Dawn. Tomorrow. No, Andre. Father. Tomorrow at dawn. Andre, Andre, hostage. You mustn't be frightened, Madeleine. Andre, please let me go to him. For my sake, he will stop the duel. No, I die, sir. If he kills you, what life is there left for me? Please, Andre, don't go through the duel. Right, my darling. Is it for this that you said for me to dishonor myself and and disgrace my my love for you? Andre, if he kills you, I cannot go on living. If he is the loaded gun, one bullet shall kill us both. My darling, listen, listen. You know that I love you, but I am bound by a code of honor, which you know as well as I. If I disgrace that bond of honor, you yourself will despise me. Oh, Andre. Perhaps not now. Perhaps not now, but. But later, yes, darling, you will despise me, and I, I will come to hate you. You, you whom I love more than my life. I'm afraid I've done all I could, gentlemen. It's no use. Good morning, gentlemen. Good morning, Captain. Major. Have you seen Lieutenant Sam? He'll be here. I tried to talk him out of this insanity, but it's no use. It's either his life or Andre's. You're acting as his second? Unwillingly, yes. Where's Lieutenant Dupont? 
You're very impatient, Lieutenant. Yes, very. Seems Lieutenant Dupont is less prompt than usual for his uh, target practice this morning. Here he comes now. Quite in time. Is everything in readiness? Yes. Gentlemen, you're both aware that it is my duty, as well as uh, Captain Turrell's duty, to try and make every effort to settle this affair without bloodshed. Lieutenant Paul, are you willing to withdraw your uh, challenge? You know that that is impossible. No one questioned that you are a man of honor and courage. You don't understand. Last night you said things should have been better left and said. Well, perhaps you had reason. You were drinking. Spare Maybe you... yourself the trouble, Major. I said last night what I would gladly repeat this morning. So you insist on going through with this? Yes, I do. Unless, of course, Lieutenant Dupont wishes to make a proper apology. My pistol will answer for me. Proceed, Major. One thing more. Conditions of this duel are, to say the least, unusual. They may only result in the death of one of you. I insist that the conditions be exactly as I stated them. One pistol loaded. Three inches from the heart. How do I repeat? A man of honor need not accept. I have already accepted. I shall not refuse now. Very well. Captain Terrell, will you mark the field, please? Father, please stop them. There is still time. It's a matter of personal honor between them. I have no authority to stop them. Honor? What is honorable about murder? It's hard for me too, Madeleine. You're my daughter. It's for you they fight. I brought you here from Paris. The blood is on my hands. Father, please stop them. You stay here, Madeleine. No, Father, I can't. Please let me come with you. The field is marked, Major. Captain, have you got a pistol? I have them. Here. Load one. One is already loaded. The other one is empty. You loaded them with yourself? You know which one is loaded? Does that matter, Major? Let Lieutenant Dupont choose. Gentlemen, will you take your places, please? Three steps forward. Gentlemen, there will be a count of three. At the count of one, you'll take one step toward each other. At the count of two, a second step. The count of three, a third step. And you may shoot it at will. Is that understood? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Captain Terrell, please count. Well, Captain? It's monstrous. I wish someone else would perform the service. I've already done enough. Too much. Please, Major. Count! Are you ready, gentlemen? You're braver than I thought, Lieutenant. Ready. One. Two. Three. Fire! 
no longer for you to command. I shall decide when to fire. For pity's sake, fire! Gentlemen, I am not an assassin. I am willing to offer this man his life. What price do you put upon your life, Lieutenant, now that you look upon the face of death? You have a right to fire. You have not heard my terms. I am willing to offer you your life on one simple condition. Name the condition. Tell me, Mr. Pam. You have merely to ask for it. With proper humility, and you may live. Major. Major, make him fire! Sam, will you, you will answer to all of us for this. Fire! Wait. Wait, Raoul, oh, wait. Friend. For my sake, let him live. Since Mademoiselle wishes it, I make her a gift of your life. My case. You have nothing to be ashamed of. You have more than proven your courage. However contemptibly Lieutenant Stamistin fit to conduct himself in this affair, I don't think you should do... Stop! Lieutenant Dico, put down that pistol. Don't be afraid, Colonel. You see? Lieutenant Stam is not afraid. See? Neither of them were loaded. They are both empty. I meant it as a joke, gentlemen. Only as a joke. It was a joke. That's all. What are you going to do? What are you going to do? No! Andre, we owe you thanks. Hold him for court martial. Don't soil your hands on him. Thank you.